Okay. So this this is pretty much what I'm starting out with right now. It's got a piece right here. It's on my my left here. The pin, just a little thing. Then come off like that. Which is connected to two motors, right here. They they can move. And then I've got these two. I've got these two beams, which travel along to this piece right here, which snaps on my wrist and is also. Sorry, I'm trying to keep on the camera. Fairly at least detachable. So this thing pops up and just snaps those two, and this hinges. And yeah. Okay, so this is kind of arm mark two. We've added a couple things. I've added this brace right here because in the first, the first one is a little bit loose, so this brace is just a little piece underneath. That cover the bottom. I've added another one up top. I decided I wasn't going to do a third piece like one of these that goes all the way around. So I kind of added one on the top, one on the bottom, which still leaves room for the two sensor things, which are going to go up here. I kind of don't have them on right now. But one other thing I added was a little piece because in the other video this part was fit this thing was a little bit loose. So it's a lot less loose now due to the fact that I take it off. So I take it off. This one's got a little pop little knob thing, so it just pops in here. So I'm sure not have to take the camera here. So pop that. This and this one. And my arm just slides right out. I added this thing, which this little piece. And all of this piece does right here. Is make it a little bit tighter on my bicep so that it actually stays on. Okay, so this is one attempt at building a program that works. I'm actually going to hook my arm in really quick. I don't actually have the buttons attached right now because this is a little bit nuts but this is my arm having a bit of a spaz attack so this is I'm running the program and then I press the button and this is just to actually have to hit stop because I'm gonna so I'm gonna show you this on the ground but it's literally it's like yeah, I press the button and it just starts jerking. I'm going to run the program and then okay. So this is not quite. I've got only got the programming running so I've got the arm on me it's not quite like perfectly built kind of taken these off but now you little click I'm running the program and I'm gonna press this button and and now I'm going to press this button and we'll see if I can 
as you can see. So I'm just and I'm pressing the buttons, and with these two buttons, I can. move the arm. Okay, so here we have it. The fruit of my labors. This robotic arm that may or may not actually work. Well, it kind of works. It was not my first time running it. So I run it, and I, if this button works, it's going to This little button I'm actually working is going to be one of the trouble fail-safe things that I'm going to talk about later. But this, so if we run it, theoretically, this button presses, it presses, moves up. And then jams like that. So we're gonna turn it off, move it back, and then press the press the magic button, and then then press this, move it down. Press that, and it moves up. Press that, and moves down. So I'm gonna take it off now, but unfortunately, due to that kind of thing you saw it do, where it moved up until it until it got my arm like this, and then it kind of jammed and kept and the problem is it kept on trying to keep going, but because my arm is in the way, it's not and more of it is in the way, it's not going to be able to move any farther. But also, I can't stop it, move it down, because then my arm is right here, it's, it's so, it's pressing it already, and there's no way for me to move my arm to not press, so I kind of screw some stuff up. <clears throat> but... And also, I didn't really show it, but it will also do this thing where it does kind of the same thing, but the other direction, where it tries to bend a lot farther than my arm. My arm goes 180 degrees. This thing was trying to bend me, like, to, I don't know what, like, probably one not 200, 210, or something like that. So... A lot farther my arm is made to bend. And so that's kind of why I've. S this is gonna be kind of the end of this project because there's really, n with the resources I've got, there's really not much more I can do with it, unfortunately. But maybe if I had a lot, if I had a lot more time, like, months probably uninterrupted and some diff better resources better parts possibly a different building material like oh it's great for prototypes when you actually try but i've kind of found out that when you're actually trying to put something together that's gonna work in the long term <clears throat> not great this has been my attempt at building a robotic arm. Interrupt.